take a picture of being a trooper and carrying my bag since I'm a cripple. <laughs> Made it on again with that big bag though. Sorry, we haven't vlogged much. We're coming for you, Lake Como. Yes, we are now on a plane from Munich to Italy. Just landed in Milan. It's so dark in here. Just got a SIM card. Trying to download Google Maps because our SIM card doesn't work for like two hours. And about to take an Uber to Malgrate. Guys, look how bougie our Uber is. This is fancy. Some travel days get so long that you resort to renting a Mercedes C-Class whatever instead of taking the train. <laughs> this is a long day today. Good morning from the beautiful Lake Como. Everybody, we are staying in Malgrate in Lake Como with our friends Ethan and Isa. Hello, you're shy on the camera. <laughs> right now, we're going to the Hemingway Bar, yeah? Yes. To hang out today and explore the town of Lecco, which is adjacent to Malgrate. So, hope you enjoy. Yeah, so Hemingway was wonderful, very nice bar and restaurant, um, beautiful patio, nice outdoor ambiance. Um, I had the bolognese, I'm a big pasta guy, it was really good. Um, all the cocktails were great, and yeah, it was just a nice vibe, we sat out here for like two hours. I love gelato. <laughs> I just got a pistachio gelato and Matt got... What'd Caramel you and chocolate. Oh, so good. We love Italy. We are so happy to be back in Italy. We have been here twice before in our lives, but it's always a good time. Yeah, this camera's jump in. <laughs> That's our Airbnb right there in Mall Great. And we are still in Lecco. Today was our designated chill, just walk around the city day. So we've spent the afternoon in Lecco, getting lunch, walking around the lake. It's been a great day. Tomorrow we have a boat tour. And Matt and I picked up this pistachio cream. <laughs> Not exactly sure what it is, but we tried it and it's so good. And you guys know I love pistachio and she said you can put it on bread or whatever you want. So, I'm really happy to be here, guys. Here. Yeah, that's unreal. I knew I should have that yellow. In Scotland, because we had no idea what to do. No. You don't even know the the yeah. real story. Oh, that's probably just right now. Hi, 
Hi everybody, we are currently in the town of Como on Lake Como. We just took a train here for an hour. It was kind of convoluted because we're staying in a lesser visited part of the lake. So we went from Lecco to Monza, which we should have stayed there and gone to like see the F1 circuit, but... I like racing. We're in Como and we're happy and our friends are happy. <laughs> Day's starting out rough. We're currently locked on a train. Matt went off to go to the toilet and then the door shut and he got trapped out there. Turns out the train is broken and we're trapped on here and none of the doors will open and we're stuck. Okay guys, we haven't really been vlogging much because we've just been hanging with our friends, but Venice is too cool not to share. So we just arrived here by train, but now we just got tickets to the water taxis called Vaporettos, and we're headed to our Airbnb. I'm back at the point where I can carry my own bags again. <laughs> Our Airbnb set host said the old lady with short white hair would be picking us up, and we have found her. This is so cool. Guys, Venice is sinking. Like an hour ago, this was like two feet below. This cafe here was made in 1720 and it's supposedly the oldest cafe in Venice. What up guys, welcome back to regularly scheduled programming of Matt and Patricia and we are at Cafe Florian in Venice and this is the oldest continuously running cafe in the entire world. It was started in 1720 and it's been a cafe ever since and it's really good but also really expensive. So definitely come here and at least get a coffee for 16 euros. How was the coffee? Amazing. Delightful. Had ice cream in it, it was yeah, chef kiss. Really good. 110.
Hi everybody, welcome to Venice. We took three trains and a water bus to get here. We arrived yesterday, beautiful weather of course, and we are just absolutely in love. It's been a while since I've been in awe and obsessed with the city and that is certainly my vibe with Venice. We love it here, it's so good. Is and I got matching rings. So we have left our friends Ethan and Isa today. Unfortunately, that was a really fun trip, and we're also. It was a really fun trip. No, I'm. Unfortunately, we left them. It was a really fun trip. Uh, we really like Venice and we wish we had more time here, but we're headed to Florence today. Uh, we just got off our water taxi boat and time to go find our train and maybe a snack before we leave. All right guys, we took a company called Italo Trains and definitely recommend, but try to make sure you don't get booked in the like four person seat thing in the middle because it's just a little bit awkward looking at people in the eyes the whole time. But we're here in Florence, time to get to our Airbnb. Hi everybody, like Matt said, we are in Florence now. So this is part of a week in our life traveling in Italy and we just left our friends. We traveled to Lake Como and Venice with them and now we are in Florence before we settle into our hotel, which we will show you because we haven't showed you any of our other stays. We are at Eat Italy getting some pasta and pizza, of course. And we just wanted to tell you the few fun facts we learned about Florence. Okay guys, pause for a second for the nicest bottle of water you've ever seen. <laughs> this is a cradle of the Renaissance. Gucci was created in Florence. The piano was created in Florence. Gelato was created in Florence. So Florence is a great place to be. There are also some famous boys you might have heard about that are from Florence, including Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Galileo. Raphael. Raphael. Machiavelli. Machiavelli and probably so many more. So we're excited to share more of Florence with you. We're here for a few days. Hello friends and esteemed guests. Today I will be giving a tour of our Airbnb in Florence. So get so excited, it's <laughs> enormous. So over here, we have our bed. My knee still hurts a lot, so I'm not gonna like jump on like I normally do, but it is very comfortable. <laughs> And um, it also came with a stocked fridge with a little bit of water and a Coke. Over here, if you follow me, we have a nice little balcony that has a view of the courtyard. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. So over here we have our bathroom, which is very nice. It's a little funky because like you can definitely see me through the wall. But it is nice, we have this ginormous rain head shower and everything's really clean and we're excited to stay here for a few days. just came to a vintage photo booth and it's on Google Maps. Just type in Photo Automatica and it's two euros for four poses. So fun. A wine window you can't order from. Featuring Americans with their roller suitcases. What's up guys? So we are headed to a restaurant called Osteria Pastella. I will link it down in the description if it's good. I'm sure it will be, but yeah, it's very famous. And we got a recommendation from, uh, you know, some other uh, third party foodies, <laughs> third-party source called TikTok. So yeah, we're gonna go there now. They're supposed to have a really cool dish where they like make the pasta and like a cheese wheel. So 
we'll uh, vlog it. Patty, say hi. <laughs> This looks absolutely fire. Guys, we didn't like this at all. Just kidding, it was like literally the best dish we've ever had. Dad joke, next level. So if you take one thing from this video, it is that you have to come here to get that dish specifically. Make a reservation as far in advance as you can because they are very, very busy, but it truly is not overhyped. It is a local, authentic family owned place that has the best pasta in the entire world currently right now i'm feeling so sluggish and tired and ready for bed that was quite a heavy dish the tagliatelle flambe truffle was a lot but i could eat it every day it'll put me right to bed guys i'm not a food critic or anything like that but let me just tell you it was like a full body experience like i feel so relaxed right now it's <laughs> my tongue feels amazing <laughs> We just got some classic Florentine paninis and a cannoli. So now we're gonna go find a place to sit and enjoy. Good morning, everybody. For breakfast, we caved and got a cannoli. Oops. Is it good? Mm -hmm. For our actual breakfasts, I have a very large sandwich, it's about the size of my head. I think it's um, tomato, lettuce, and ham. What a cool bridge, right? Yeah, this is so cool. There's so much jewelry in that. <laughs> we just got tickets to go in the Baboli Gardens. 11 and euros a person. Unless you're from the EU and then it's 3 euros a person. <laughs> nice. Come on, Joe Biden. <laughs> What? Is he going to bring us into the EU or something? Anyway, uh, this would be pretty cool, so we're going to go have a relaxing time. Hey guys, I just purchased this house. It comes with a pretty cool backyard, I'm going to show you. This fountain was a real seller for me. Pretty cool view of Florence from up here, featuring the back of Patricia's head. I think I did pretty well for myself on this purchase. It even comes with a few people hanging out in my backyard. I, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Matthew Medici, yeah, King of Florence. <laughs> George Washington. Okay. Everybody always be stealing stuff from Egypt. Hello, Neptune. It's very cold here. Definitely get air conditioning if you're coming to Florence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't imagine being without it. Don't mind me just casually strolling the bridge. Look who's behind me. Next to Adam Levine. Adam Levine. <laughs> that is so weird, dude. Just made it in our taxi. Are you sad to leave Florence? We're headed to Sicily. <laughs> Goodbye, Florence. That wraps up the vlog. Thank you for watching and have a good day. <laughs> all we can say is that one day they will have all five Michelin stars. There's five, right? I don't know how many there are. All, 20, many all 27 Michelin <laughs> They'll stars. They'll have all of them. <laughs>